Hello again everyone, D Flect here, Firm but Fair Gaming. Came to bring you a video on the Star Fortress. Uh, this is a quick flashpoint that you can solo. It's on Odessin and you can get a weekly quest for it. It gives very good rewards. You can get a lot of decorations or AKA decos and you will be able to sell them on the GTM for quite a bit of money. Last one I did, I got four million dollars worth of decorations and it took me about uh all of i want to say seven and a half minutes last time i am stealth you doesn't really matter if you're stealth it does not take long to um to kill the enemies by any means it's a very quick easy thing to do i'm just going to get rid of these ones to show you what a new run will look like and i will jump right into a star fortress now it doesn't matter uh, which one you pick, I haven't found it's slightly different route, but you pick up your quest from Sergeant, uh, pick the story mode, that will be the easiest, veteran mode will count as two towards your weekly, but I have found that it is not worth the extra time to do them. Veteran mode takes a lot longer where you can bang out story mode in six to eight minutes I want to say. They're very fast. Very quick, and again, you do get the added bonus of getting the decorations. Now, as you see on the list, you can pick from any one of these. It doesn't really matter, you know, you can do Voss, you can do Alderaan. It, it, they're all pretty much the same, I found. Slightly different maps, very similar. Uh, I haven't really seen anyone take longer than any other one. Um... It really, I, I don't care. I randomly just picked them. They don't really mean much to me. So, uh, we'll just jump right in. And away you go. Down the elevator and this starts it. So, this jumps right into the Star Fortress. I am running DPS class with the healer companion. And I'm just going to stealth by pretty much everything I can. Because I'm lazy and just don't feel like killing things. You do de-stealth or it will take you out of stealth once you open a door. So if you do it in between doors, like I just had double doors there, you will come out of stealth. Now, sometimes it is just faster to kill the enemy than wait for your stealth to come back. As you can see, it does not take a lot of time to kill them. And that way I save my stealth for the room where there's multiple enemies. Very quick, very fast. My stealth is back just before I need to go through. And I haven't looked at the map yet, so I do get lost from time to time. <laughs> but you can see it's not a long time to get through. There are two bosses in this, so you have two deco chances. I do have a force cloak I can use as well and just run by and the elevator down. This should bring me, I believe, to the first boss. Yep, you take the jump down. There's an elevator that comes up, but I'm lazy and it doesn't hurt that much. So I don't like waiting. Now you can see that the boss is ready to spawn. You'll have a couple ads you got to kill here. Nothing overly crazy. Now the boss should be up and running and ready to go and you can see it takes no time at all to kill the boss he dropped a factory welding droid and 500 credits so we'll see at the end what the welding droid is worth I I want to say they're not that much. Under a million, I think. So, you do get different drops from each boss. That just happens to be what it is. They still sell for decent for, you know, all of the six or eight minutes it's going to take you to run through this. Let's see if I can remember the way to go. And I already went the wrong way. <laughs> That's from not looking at the map. And here's where I just wait a little bit for the stealth to come back and carry on. The double doors always, you know, they get me sometimes when I'm uh, 
out there because because some of the double doors you know you stealth in between and then you have to wait or just can carry on and kill everything afterwards I can force cloak through that uh, except one of these some of these um, fighters will find you through your uh, stealth so you will have to kill them and that might mean I get another one on the platform that comes out that de stealths you yep There he is. So you can quickly just kill it and carry on. And I missed the door because I was looking at the map and not paying attention again. <laughs> so. And the dog just wanted to bark at the, uh, the delivery guy. So <laughs> don't mind the dog in the background. Stealth through. This should bring me to the boss's room. And there it is. Now, a warning about the boss room. Do not kill anything too quickly. I know you want to just attack it. You'll see the ad spawn from either door. You'll see a light go above it. They're going to come out. Let them come out. If you kill them too quick, there is a chance it will glitch and uh, you will have to uh, kill yourself to carry on and redo it. There is a chance. It doesn't happen all the time, but I found if you kill them quickly, it might not work. So just let them come to you a little bit. You know, for the extra seconds it's going to take, it's well worth it to let them come towards you. Deactivate the console. Back to ads. One more console and the boss. Where are the ads? Wait till they move a little bit. Last group of ads. And now you just have to wait for the boss to come up. And he'll take a minute or two. I think we're right now at about six and a half minutes, so not terribly long. Like I said, if you have to kill everything during it, it doesn't take much more time. Like, you might add a minute or two. It's not terrible, terrible. Otherwise, if you have a stealth class, you can do what I did. And you wait till he gets ready and you can kill him almost as fast it does not take a lot of time dead and out of this one I got a console I have no idea what they sell for but that is the end of the star fortress they are that easy they are that fast it does not take any time at all and the rewards are Pretty good for six to eight minutes worth of your time. And we'll just go to quickly to the GTN and let's see what these are worth. Lucky enough, there's a GTN very close. So the console is worth 1.5. And there's oh no welding droids up because they have a cooldown. Well, we'll sell that and see if we can sell that quickly. So that is a Star Fortress. Uh, if you haven't done them, you do have to unlock them. There is a quest from a droid. Uh, near your war room in the basement so go get the quest you have to do once on story mode once on veteran mode and then you will have them unlocked so get into the star fortress get yourself some decos sell them on the gtn make some credits and this was deflect from firm but fair gaming if you could like share subscribe that greatly helps me out and if you have any questions leave them in the comments below